I'm delighted to say we've got Tom Parkinson with us this evening to talk about uh, our victory in the FA Trophy. Tom, um, it was tight first half, but second half I thought we were the better side. Yeah, I mean, the, the first half, we went and watched, uh, the gaffer sent me to watch Bogner, um, Bogner at Margate last week and we knew the way they played and we, we wanted to implement our game plan and trying to press them high and um, at times in the first half I thought we'd done it really well, I thought we pressed high and nicked the ball quite well, um, created some good opportunities when we were patient on the ball. Um, in the second half I thought we, we probably didn't do it as well as we did in the first half. Um, and we let them come on to us a little bit. At uh, 2-0 we, we were comfortable, I didn't see the penalty so I, I can't really comment and then we sort of panicked a little bit at the end. And um, But the main thing was we got we got through and uh, that, that's all that matters in the cup. It's not really about um, how, how, we, how you perform on the day, it's about getting the result and, and going through to the next round. No, definitely. Um, I thought we, when we came out from the break, uh, however, I, I thought we had quite a good spell immediately after half time, which of course was during the time when we actually got that goal, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, when we come out and we were patient on the board, the, the times we looked good today is when we kept it and made four or five passes, switched play well. Um, I thought Dee and Christy were, were doing really well with that, and I thought Christy again was excellent um, c c coming in for us. I thought, I thought he, he was probably our best player again today. Um, but yeah, him and Dee are working a good partnership, and if we can get them two on the board, they're both very good. Um, we can switch play and, and, and that's how we like to play, we like to get the ball out wide, put deliveries in the box and uh, that's where both goals come from today. The manager doesn't like to over-praise individual players and I understand why that is, but uh, and you touched on it just then, I thought Christy again had a very good game, that's the second second game that he's done, for my, in my eyes anyway, really, really well. No, he's, he, he's a really good player, I mean when he first came in training and uh, the three of us, me, Barry and Gaffer, thought he, he, he could be really good for us and uh, each week he's learning that, how the gaffer wants him to play, um, he's getting used to his teammates around him and I, I think he, he could have a really bright future. People, for, I mean I didn't realise he's only 21 years old so but he's only going to get better um, and him and Dee at the minute are striking a really good partnership together. Uh, Sam McKinney, can you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, Sam, Sam's been training for a couple of weeks, he hasn't, he hasn't done a pre-season or anything and uh, he, he, as I say he's been training with us and, and with Jason being um, cup tied today um, okay. we didn't have a sub, uh, a sub striker so the, the gaffer got him along today um, and only come on 10 minutes and, and worked hard and, but he needs to get out and probably get a couple of months worth of games but um, yeah I, I think that's the way the gaffer's going to go with him um, but no he, he looks like he could, he could be reasonable a, a good player for us but he just needs, he needs to get match fit. Yeah because uh, he he's not actually a lone player is he? Is he? I mean he has signed for us hasn't he? No I, th I, th I think he had an injury at the back in the last season which kept him out of the, the last few games and mm. at the start of this season so he's trying to get back to full fitness I think he got in contact um, with Barry or the gaffer and asked if he could come down and he's, he's done alright in training just as I say he's, he, uh, Known from past experience myself, is training is one thing, but games is different, and he probably needs a, a month or two's worth of games. But um, no, he, he looks like he could be useful. No, definitely. So, certainly got the presence, hasn't he, when he came on? <laughs> he's a big lad. He, he, his, brother's, his brother's even bigger than that, he's, he's a Lincoln. But yeah, it, as I say, if, if he can get himself fit, um, I'm sure that the gaffer will have a, definitely have another look at him. Uh, and you did touch on it, um, Jason was cup tied. Yes, Jason ben. And, and Ben. Ben, and of course yeah, Ben. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think, I think Darford, the, the chairman, said he could play, and the manager said he couldn't, which was a shame. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jay, Jason's already played uh, for, for Brentwood in, in his cup. Right, okay, okay. So that's fair enough. Um, so, great result and some prize money. I'm yeah. sure the gaffer must be delighted about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, every round that we can go through as a, as a club, the, the money helps, but it also. Um, gives us a good chance to, to have a little cut run which in the six years I've been here as long as the gaffer we've had, I can only remember once we've had an unreasonable FA Cup run and so it's, it's nice for the supporters um, it's nice for, for the club to get some money in um, and ho hopefully we can we can get a nice draw at home draw in the next round and, 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 and stay in this competition as long as we can. No definitely. Um, next week we're away to Slough uh, on paper it looks difficult but I'm sure we'll go there with every confidence why shouldn't we we're playing some good football at the moment no as I, said, I think in the six years that I've been here it's probably some of the best stuff we've played and uh, that's that's two wins and a draw in the last three games I think we've won three out of the last six with a draw so we're, we're, we're full of confidence and I think each week we're getting better and better we're learning the level now um, we're making less and less mistakes um, we're, we're scoring more goals um, and I, 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 I think we'll be fine this year, it's just a case of um, 
cutting out silly errors. It's, again, I know we can see you late today, but we, we've held our nerve and held out. That's two weeks in a row that we've mm. done that. Mm. So we, we sort of look, we look like we're getting over the, the, the conceding late goals. And um, yeah, as I say, the, boy, the boys are full, full of confidence. They've been training well. We, we, I, I think we've been playing well. And I don't know. I could probably count on them probably two or three games this season where we haven't done ourselves justice. But apart from that, um, no, we, we've been good. Uh, the new signings, like, like Ben, Jason, Christie, have helped. Um, so yeah, we, we've got a strong squad now, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go into next week and looking to get three points up at Slough. It won't be easy. Um, they're, they're on a good, good run of form, but yeah, well, if we concentrate on ourselves and, uh, and do what we can do, we, we can cause any team any problems. Definitely. Uh, and just finally, Tom, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you. Um, obviously, you, I know you'd rather be out there playing, competing against teams and playing with the boys, but how are you enjoying this kind of coaching role that you're doing at the moment? No, it's, it's, it's a great learning curve for me. It, it, it'll be something once I finish playing, it'll be something that I, I, I want to go into. And to be fair, the, ga the gaff has been brilliant with me. Where I haven't, where I haven't been able to do much through my injury. Um, it keeps me involved. I'm, I'm learning loads of him and Barry. And people just think it's just like you turn up on a Saturday, put 11 players out. There's so much more that goes on behind the scenes, organising, training, talking to players. Uh, like obviously, the gaffer's probably on his phone all day talking to, to, to players. It's, it's, there's so much involved, and, and, and for me, I think Steve's one of the best managers that I, one I've played for and two um, in, in non league football. So to, to learn off him and Barry is, is great for my. For my experience and my, my sole aim is to be back playing. I don't want to be standing on the side and, and be coached for the long term. Um, when I finish playing, then, then that'd be something I look on, uh, look into. But my, my aim is to get back playing. But all the time I'm not playing, it's, it's, it's doing my experience uh, brilliant. And there's probably two two people in non-league football that are not many better to learn from than the, the Gaffer and Barry. So yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate them and them uh, giving me the experience. Um, and hopefully I can replay him once I'm back on the pitch. Well, I, I, I hate to sort of put <laughs> omens or anything like that on it, but certainly since you've been around on the on the bench, we seem to have suddenly starting to do better. So yeah, you're obviously doing some good uh, in there. I, 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 I don't know too much about that. I think, I think it's just it's, I think the, 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 from the start of the season, I don't think the boys have been playing that bad. It just yeah. seems like we're we're making less the, and less mistakes. The, the results are starting to come a little. Yeah, bit, I, to be honest, I, I felt from the start of the season, I, I, thought, I thought that we we we're, we're probably on paper underachieving. I think, I think we've we. we, we I know people with the, um, our sole aim is to stay up this year, but I think with the players we've got and the way we've been playing, we're, we're not a million miles away from it. Um, it's just fine lines. It, it, the, the biggest difference I've seen in this in the league this year is you make a mistake, you get punished. Um, so that the, the, and there's, there's a lot of money and, and some good, good forwards about. But as I say, I think every week we're, we're growing into it. I think we're getting more and more confident. Um, we needed to add some players, and we have done, and, and the CAF has done that well. Um, and uh, there's no reason why we can't start climbing the table. It's, it's going to be an up and down season. We're not going to win every week, but it's, it's a case of now trying to trying to get as many points on the board in, the, in these winter months. Where it, yes, we're playing some good football, but ultimately it's, it's about getting results. And uh, and today, people might argue that we, we play some good stuff, Bob to play some good stuff, or whatever. But the ultimate aim was to get through. Um, people don't look back at the end of the season and look at results and go, oh, Tunbridge played really well but lost 2-1. They'll remember the games that we won. Um, so it's, it's, it's about getting three points as much as we can and uh, yeah, we're having a good month in a minute and, and on that continue. Definitely. Thanks, thanks very much indeed Tommy and well done. Cheers Tim. Well, Chris, well done on the win and well done on the, the man of the match. How Thank did you. the game go for you today? Thank you. Um, today is a big match and uh, with the team and uh, with the staff we, we want to win for, for, for the next, uh, next step. Yeah, it's very important for, for us. The last few games, we've really noticed how well you're playing, and um, particularly your relationship with Deshaun in midfield. Yeah, how do you two get on as, as players and as people? Yeah, good, good, good. good. Because uh, when, I, when I was come, uh, to, uh, I speak with, uh, with, with Deshaun, and uh, he tell me, uh, do that, do that, and uh, we, we have a good, um, good re relationship uh, with Deshaun and with uh, Sonny. And, uh, he tell 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 me uh, a lot in the in the pitch, and uh, it's very good for me. Yeah. It was a bit close at the end. Were you nervous at the end of the game today? Uh, yeah, nervous because my first time of a cup. So yeah, nervous. But uh, after he, he, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's good to get through. We could play a big team in the next round, a, a big non-league team, maybe a former football league team. Yeah. Or even your old club. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who would you uh, who would you like to play in the next round? 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but now uh, I think uh, with uh, with Tom Bridge, uh, since uh, since three game, we play uh, we play good football, and uh, we we need to keep going. You see the major difference. Uh, is it an easy club to settle into? Excuse me. Is it a, a club that's easy to settle into when, as a new signing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is, oh, excuse me. That's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, do you, there's, there's, there's little things that they do, they make you sing when new players come in. Have you had to sing a song in, in public with the other players? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very good public, yeah. I like public, I like, uh, I like fun, I like, uh, I like staff. Uh, the manager is uh, uh, very, in, very confident, you, mm. he's good? Yes. Yeah, very confident uh, uh, on me and uh, it's very good for me when, when I play with the confidence. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I'm better. And uh, when the fan, the fan, um, the fan, uh, excuse me, when the fan, when they sing, yeah, 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 it's very good. It's very, very good for for the team. For, mm. for a little bit about you. Uh, how long have you have you lived and played in, in, in English football? English football uh, four months ago. Is that oh, really? Only been here four months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. four months. Yeah. yeah. And are you here for football reasons, or are there other reasons why you're in this country? Uh, no, just I like English football, and uh, when I was uh, in, in France, I tell like my dad, uh, I want, I won't go in English. I, I went in England for play football, for play football, and he tell me, okay, if if you if you want, going, and uh, I, I come here. What is it about English football that you like? Um, physical, yeah, I like physical and uh, intensity. Which you don't get so much at, at the same level in French football. Uh, French football is very tactical, you not know, tactical, and not a lot of uh, score goal. Uh, every week uh, score uh, in uh, zero zero one zero, and uh, or in English football we, we play for score goal. It's different. Yeah, I like this. Mm. Well, we've enjoyed seeing you play. Well done, your performances so far. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.